This video is a review of uh, the CX Racing Turbo Kit for the 05 309 Mustang GT. Don't have much time, my phone's got a low battery. Uh, but I'll tell you the basic things. Um, so when I got the kit, there are some things I had to modify. Uh, one would be the O2 bungs had to be welded onto the exhausts, the headers. <coughs> the other big one was that the, the turbo kit came with like a more of an S-shaped dealy thing going on right here. And that wasn't working for the tuner. I had Lido tune my car. And he told me that I needed to get as straight of piping as I could before the mass airflow sensor for him to get an accurate reading. So I had to have this all put in there. Not a big deal. My friend, he's a welder. He did all this for me. <clears throat> uh, the exhaust right there. So it's supposed to go back down through like along the engine and the transmission and everything. And I just could not find a way to make that possible. So what I ended up doing was I came out through the bumper. Not a big deal. I actually love how it sounds. <coughs> the intercooler, uh, that was a pretty good fitment wise. Uh, the only issue with that was the blow off valve was on this side and the tuner wanted on this side. Right down there, a little red shiny thing. <clears throat> so it needed to be on the hot side for some reason. I'm not too sure why. The kit came with no instructions. That was one of the big problems that I had was I had to do this all by trial and error. Uh, this I had to order separate. Because if you're going to do the three inch tubing like this and get rid of the one that comes with the kit, you need to do this. And this is the only other option was the on three throttle body coupler and with these uh these clamps it it was leaking really really bad right here i actually did a, a boost leak test i made my own boost leak tester for this kit just plugs in right down there got a blue silicone there and you plug your hose into it and you're able to uh put some air in there and see where your leaks at and this was pissing out pretty bad right out the side right here so i just put some blue silicone in there this is temporary for now. This is the, the coolant overflow and your power steering. And this, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, I need to get an O-ring to put somewhere around in there because it's, it, it doesn't go down as far as it should. So if I put a bigger O-ring in there, it'll seal. Basically what it's doing right now is it's not sealing. It just keeps pissing out the side. <clears throat> the fitment was overall pretty okay. Another thing I had to modify was there's this part that comes on your original uh, fan shroud. I'll zoom in right there. It's like a thermostat something. I'm not sure the part, um, but I had to put that in there cut a hole in <clears throat> and it plugs right up to its factory connector it's like some kind of uh thermostat it gets hot enough it turns the fans on <clears throat> i didn't go with the cx racing turbo i ended up uh, getting the on three performance 7665 turbo with the oil feed and oil drain kit Uh, charge motion delete plates are definitely a must if you're running the stock intake manifold. I didn't know that until afterwards. Basically, like I said, trial and error. This project was a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, just because all the time to take the kit out, though. But if, if, if you're doing this all the one time, it's not so bad. <clears throat> you put on your exhaust manifolds. You uh, put all this stuff on there. Um, you fit your turbo. Always remember to clock your turbo because you want your oil feed to be at 12 o'clock because otherwise it's going to pool up inside the turbo and that's how you ruin your turbo. <coughs> what else? Oh, the computer. So this, I, I don't really know what to do with this. I, I don't know where to put it. That's one of the ugly things about this kit is the computer is just kind of just 
there. I'll figure something out with it. <clears throat> but yeah, with this kit, um, not being able to run it down the side there, the side exhaust, it's it's kind of a pain to do, but at the same time, it, it wasn't so bad. I had my friend do all the welding. Clearance is amazing. I'm lowered on uh, Eibach Sport Lines, cars on 20s. And yes, this is a bullet, 5204. I'm probably forgetting some stuff, but I, I basically said the most important things. So overall, not a bad kit. It's been putting down some pretty good power. I haven't got it dynoed yet, but I've driven it quite a few times. I put a, I put probably 500 miles on a kit so far, and it, it's been great. I tried running a Turbo Smart Boost Controller. That was an epic fail. <coughs> this is uh, tapped into my. Uh, my my turbo down there as my pressure source so if you have any questions um feel free to comment i'll try to answer them the best i can uh, oh yeah there's another thing i'm forgetting so with the kit um the the, the coolant so this this car is a 2008 um so the kit is designed for 05 through 06 because it has a bunch of uh, crap that's like down there and over here and just whatever. So anyways, that was irrelevant to me. <clears throat> so I had to take what pipes I could find and what couplers I could find and just kind of make myself my own little routing of uh, hose and pipes. Not such a bad thing. It, it, it worked out, doesn't leak, no issues. But yeah, feel free to comment below. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks.